problem seeing them and this is my graphic settings. Take a screenshot, you can try to copy, maybe it works out for you. Of course, if you're on a not so good laptop, I don't know if you can really mimic this. You might stop saying out of oom, this would mean out of out of mana, sounds horrible. I don't know, sounds pretty funny to me. Pretty similar to the rip in peace meme that's going around. It's a joke and yeah, it's not very funny, I know, but I like non-funny jokes. MWT25, you're tireless, man. Asking for Sergeant Hammer every day. But you know, I'd like to climb to Grandmaster, so I don't think I'll be taking loads of Hammer right now. What's the highest rank you can get after placement matches? Diamond 3. The swarm endures. I play Rexar a bit. He's, uh, yeah, I think he's tier 2. I play Rexar occasionally. Especially on Blackheart Bay if Sonya and Illidan are banned, because he's pretty good at getting camps by himself. Staying at full life and not expending too much mana. It would have been nice if we had Johanna instead of Murden, but they already took it. They drafted pretty smart, so props to the enemy team. For the frozen throne! Glory to the horde! This realm needs me. Uh, let's see, Sky Temple, huh? All pref pref rolls. Ooh, wow, an avatar again. How good is your Karazim? I have a high win rate with him, but I have good moments and bad moments with him. I would say it's not too good, actually. Sometimes I play well with him, but I'm really not very practiced with cleanse. I can play Karazim Breath of Heaven fairly okay, but cleanse is just one too many things on the plate. So if I'm against a super CC comp, I will underperform. You should put physics on lower setting. You drop a lot of frame in teamfight. No, I don't really drop frames in teamfight. What we experienced just now is Europe servers lagging. And if I put physics on lower settings, I will not have ragdolls anymore. And I love ragdolls. Is your friend IQ55 playing HOTS too? No, he doesn't understand the game because HOTS is too complex for him. Yeah, welcome to the stream, I'm fine. Maybe our Tannis? <laughs> Uh, we still need a tank, a full tank and a full support, so I don't think so, not this game. Yeah, Johanna Asmadan are an amazing duo queue team, Normalania. That's nice. Let's fight. My blade so I'm gonna play Warrior, and we're against a pretty good CC comp. CCCC, CC, CC, uh, they're gonna have a healer. What do I want to take as a Warrior? Who synergizes well? with my team. We've got Burst and Sustained. Uh, I'm gonna stay away from Johanna because I'm weak on her. Anubrak is my favorite, he's gone. I can go for Muradin, but we don't have follow-up stance. I can get Arthas. I think Muradin, I need an escape. From the ones that are left, I think he's the most reliable. So I'll go with Muradin. And I just gotta run to the restroom because I've been drinking loads of water. I'll see you guys in a second. I'll be back on time for the game, hopefully.
Okay. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have a really important question here by Oshaka Oshaku Gano. I like Hots, but my friends are every time saying League of Legends is so much better, and we discuss it every time. What would you say to them? Heroes is better. I would I'm glad to settle the dispute. Alright, uh, Abathur, Karazim, Liming, Zigara. Um, auto attack speed is very useful here. They've got triple melee and a ranged auto attacker, so reverberation is my go-to here. I occasionally go for perfect storm, I think it's powerful, but there's a little bit less value in Stormbolt in this game in particular, because Anubarak's beetles are likely to block it. And, as I said, I need the reverberation. So reverb, gonna go for either crowd control or thunderburn. Again, Anubrex beetles make crowd control more likely to proc effectively. I don't think it's worth it with Avatar to do this kind of thing. Let's, Let's see, does he have Gathering storm. storm? No, Seasoned Marksman. I'm not gonna say we should therefore allow ourselves to be hit by uh, his uh, hammer. But at least it's not as punishing as when you're giving free stacks of Gathering Storm. So there you have it. Let's get it on. If I go here, then Abathur can help in whichever lane. I will just push this fast, because I see a lot of angry people coming to the top here. Sonya and Anubarak. Interesting for them to choose the double warrior top. I think Sonya could do solo top just perfectly, and Anubarak could be part of the ganking squad. So I think they're giving up a lot of potential, a lot of opportunity cost of their, dra of their uh, rotation here. And I feel like this, the wrong one is going bot as well, Sonya. She should stay here. Either way, the first laning phase on Sky Temple is pretty short. Because, you know, the temples get announced fairly soon. So none of this matters too much. But I feel like they gave away a few potential kills here. Now there's a number of different ways to play this. But I think I'm the best one to remain on the shrine. Karazim can do it fairly well as well. Both of us have self-sustain. Actually, Zagara is pretty okay as well. The one that cannot capture a shrine by herself is Li Ming. And Abathur, obviously. Let's see, do I need to help Karazim? No, not yet. So I just stay here. And I don't really have a lot of interest in killing. Oh, please don't do that. Please. Yeah, I don't care too much about killing the thing. Because uh, it's pretty much impossible as uh, Muradin. And if I bring it to half-life, all I will do is to make it easier for whoever wants to steal it from me to uh, kill the guardians. In fact, I leave all the guardians on, get the final two charges, and just make it out without killing anything. I just don't have the DPS to do so. Now, if you're on a, on a map where uh, laning is very prevalent, oh, is he taking the last two charges? Yes, he is. Yeah, if, if you're in a map where laning is very prevalent, crowd control can be good. The fights take place in the lane. But generally you want to go for reverberation because it gives a second free thunderclap that may not slow for as much or damage for as much, but it is free and it stays behind. So you can actually use it as a disengage. You can thunderclap in mid-air hitting nobody and make sure that you dismount people that follow you immediately. So I'm going to go with Thunderburn. There are a lot of fights that are not in the minion wave on this map. Some are, sure. Especially the second temple phase here often has a lot of minion wave fighting. But, uh... Yeah, and I stun him out of that whirlwind immediately. Makes it a lot easier for me to damage him and make it uh, more difficult for him to clear. But yeah, um... Many of the fights are actually on the temples here. So you miss out some of that potential crowd control effect. If there's someone who's moving a lot and you try to hit a storm bolt on them, try to use your thunderclap first. This slows them down and makes it much easier to predict their movement and to react on the direction that they choose. Karazim against warriors is actually really great because they don't do enough damage to uh, make him regret punching them. What do I get here? I think Iron Forge it. Nice, Karazin lives. I approve. Ah.
I can re-engage maybe with Arthur. I can use another axiom. Out of my way. Let's crack some skulls. Interesting. If Avatar was on me, that would be a guaranteed uh, kill, I think. You visit the God of death. Now, it's Avatar's job to split soak the top. Um, if not with his body, then with his symbiote. I think that will be his next move as soon as he has his uh, tunnel mount alternative available again. And there we go. He's going to go over here and then go into that bush and soak XP. That way he can... Uh, oh wow, nice mines. He prepped this place. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> nice. The reason I didn't get piercing bolt is because there could be so many beetles that I'll miss it anyway. I'd like to only use my bolts in a clear shot and focus just on doing a lot of auto attack speed reduction. And also having more survivability uh, in the form of Iron Forge momentum. It's perfectly okay if they want to 4v5 us for a long time without stepping on the temple, because Avatar is soaking right now. Nice. Wow, how did that hit? He already used Burrow Charge. Nice. Just hit the minions to get more procs. And I can get another bolt. And, and, and. Nice. There we go. And they did not step on the point. A huge blunder by them. I will take it. Li Ming can go do other things. Li Ming things, like killing people. I'm gonna go Avatar. Haymaker is fancy, but what I need here is to be a lean, mean, unkillable killing machine. Through me, Avatar can wield terrible powers. Just like Galadriel could wield terrible powers no, no. The Ring of Power can wield terrible powers through Galadriel. Luckily, that didn't happen and she diminished and went into the uh, west. But yeah, if Avatar is on me and I'm unkillable, that means he will put out a lot of damage with his symbiote. Now, let's steal this camp. Oops. Data ball. Oh, close one. Greetings, friend. Abba ruined the surprise, did he? <laughs> Yo, thanks for the resub, Resikan. Maloa. Okay, they're level 10. We did not use any heroics besides Disintegrate. Uh... But they have theirs, so we're not necessarily at risk, we can fight. But they could be itchy to use their heroics to take back control of the game a little bit. What the hell did he just do? You can jump over the gust. Let's uh, rejoin with my allies. <laughs> he missed his sundering. Oh, I don't have mana! You look like you need a visit I wanted to avatar, I didn't have mana, I was so scared! How do you warm up before playing heroes? By throwing my first game, mate. If I wasn't a streamer, maybe I'd warm up with quick match, but I just want to jump right into the fray. Another great way of warming up, which I don't always do, is uh, doing the dishes. It warms up your hands because of hot water and... Uh, finger exercise it's a little grubby tip from his pro gaming career and when I say grubby in third person I did not mean to do a Trump impersonation Oh. oh, rip in pieces. No. Oh. Play some creep tubers, Abba. <laughs> but Grubby, I don't want to do the dishes. I know, but it's the best for your gaming, dude. 
dishwashing per hand in 2016. Dude, there are things that are not okay to put into the automatic dishwasher, okay? All right, who wants some of this? Do we get healing static? Thunder strike or burning rage? I kind of like burning rage against uh, a noob, and uh, for the same reason, I don't like um, thunder strike. But healing static is pretty cool too. I'm gonna go burning rage. My death here was a bad fluke. It should not happen again. Good luck with that, bro. Okay, my death was not a fluke, confirmed. It was a symptom, a syndrome. How did you get false up? Was that the Abba Murray Club? Oh, nice force wall. <laughs> fluke 2.0! <laughs> Damn it! Did Anubrek get the WCD reduction talent? It looks like yes. Oh no no no. Leeching Scarabs. Legion of Beetles, Burning Rage. We have Shondo's Clarity, Season Marksman, and he's got about 200 stacks. Okay, how many times did I die? Twice. That's too too many. Murden's unkillable. Bring this horse to move. Okay, Arbiter's ready. I need to play with a little bit more self-preservation. Lasting a bit longer in the fight. What the hell did I just see? <laughs> Should she even be here? I think wall will do more than boss. I just went full Texas accent, or at least Sergeant Hammer. What the hell did I just kill? Boom! Got him. Man, that was sick. Leave me in with seven kills suddenly. That was such a great sundering too. Like, I don't even know how she survived that. Let's look at her specs. I don't know, man. Just killing people, I guess. Because what happened here Let's was crazy. Thrall sunders us into a small little place. Yes. <laughs> and Li Ming is caught Got by it. everyone. Anubarak, Thrall. And somehow, some way, she survives and kills everybody. I don't get it. How do you skill so fast? Ah, the control key. Oh. Of course, Tranquility will top them off completely to full again. I'm not in the right place. Take the top temple, Abba! <laughs> yeah, they're ignoring me, but I should not be ignorable. 
That was a pretty good mighty gust, wasn't it? Should have gone give him the axe. I would have killed some people with give him the axe, but I don't know. Imagine if I had a healing static, I would also be alive better. You might be right, Leo DX. Yeah, maybe uh, I needed uh, healing static with give him the axe. But the problem is, when I took my 13, I wasn't thinking about my 16 yet. That's why. Ah, oh, they got so much siege damage out of this now. Luckily, we still had one fort to buffer and they didn't kill it. I almost wonder if they vanilla pushed top fort instead of taking the boss. They would have done more siege damage than they're doing now. I don't know if that's really true. But I almost wonder if that might be the case. Of course, Burning Rage is better wave clear, but I don't think I really needed the talent for wave clear in this game. I think we're about equal siege damage and XP, so although it was a very bad sequence of events, it's... we're not behind. Well, we are behind the level. We should be careful. We should capture this mercenary camp! Let me help you with 232 bonus damage. Let's crack some skulls. Watch this. You have a lot of map, a uh, lot of camps everywhere. I'm gonna go for Harden Shield because I've not been as uh, unkillable as I would have liked to be. Rewind is nice. Mini jump though. I think I should have gone backwards with the team. Oh god, wow! So close. I should have gone backwards with the team and allowed them to walk into a mall trap. I'm not that good at warrior these days. Sucks. I turn on everything and uh, it made me want to stay there. Not hit. The game is doing great. They're fast on too though. I don't think the guard has bolts anymore. Wow. And he has peaceful repose, right? No, he doesn't. So that was a proper save at the cost of a cooldown. This thing is doing work though. She's probably gonna win the game for us. Oh god. No. Retreat. Let's crack some skulls. They have pretty good self sustain. Anubarak, Sonya, and Thrall, and then with Mal. Just try and stop me. Econo Lord, yes, this is my full time. Oh 
missed my ball better. This looks like a really good fight. I have the tiger. I threat the needle. Nice. Okay, don't chase too far. There we go. I did something right, boys. I hit the mouth with the bolt. Should we end it? We have no mana. How about kill keep and then the objective? And then the boss. I'm so glad to do something right. I was starting to feel really guilty. Keep up the momentum. We should capture this mercenary car. A good heal there. Oh god. Yeah, we're all low on mana. Brawl was headed here. Oh, luckily, hey, this Abba is pretty, you know, map aware. I'll, ca I'll start capping it. Actually, they start capping it. We should go here. Thrall's actually capping it. I don't know that he has bolt yet. Should I take the vision? I think I can, since we're still on the point. The, bo the warrior should always take the vision, because uh, he's most at risk. Now, I'm going to endeavor not to use any mana. Because if I do, I will have to go back, and I don't think it's a good time to go back. I just want to do a little bit of disruption here. Uh, if I die here, I'm gonna, you know, feel really bad. But uh, I just want to add a bit of damage, like this. And I think it's secure to keep. You know, Abba could have done it later, but. What I did actually exactly secured the keep, so I'm satisfied with it. Now I just like to play it safe. We're two keeps up. Uh, there's no real reason to put ourselves on the map. All we need to do is capture camps and defend uh, fights. Now leaving my team in a large lurch at this. Don't go here. I just want full mana. Um, I would never do that if I had any belief that my team would go for the enemy siege camp. Let's get it on. Or get caught or something. But we saw all the pictures on the map, all the portraits. So we knew it was not risky. The next one might be a double temple phase again, because the last one was a single. I'm just gonna burn the wall here. I mean, if we trap a single person, it's okay to team fight. Thrall is bottom, so whoever could be at the top is, a, is fair game. Okay, but let's just use the time to quickly clear the bruiser camp and as well as the walls. These walls get pretty relevant vision. So let's take it away from them. We see four portraits on the map, so we're pretty safe here. And they still have to clear all kinds of camps while we can start to take position on both temples. They're in a really, really sticky situation. Now it looks like the five of them are gonna go top. Don't need to do it. We just need one of them, that's all. We had four temple charges from it, and that's just lovely. Now, they are gonna take mid. There's no re real reason to fight. We just uh, take top again. They are taking core damage from the siege camp and the catapults. They are taking mid. We will go top again. This is the kind of cat and mouse that you can do when you're ahead in keeps. Now they do have both now, so we need to kind of jump on someone. Does he have fault? If not, he might be dead. Okay. Nice. Sail up 
your ancestors for me. Nice. Terminator. Terminated. Disengage a bit while he's got hardened shield. Stand on the thing. This is temple shots. No need to fight. We played it perfectly. It's over. Ah, bolting him out of the laser charges. There we go. <gasps> nice. It seemed a little bit awkward because we're like giving temples for free and why are you leaving and then they had two for a while where we're like getting zoned out by a single mouth and sonia from you know while we're four together but in the end we realized like hey they still have both temples this is not residual laser chargers they're actually standing on it so we're like okay let's go on mouth then it got a little bit scary with Falstaff mighty gust in again i think his gusts were daring but pretty good and then Zagara got caught. Uh, very nervous, obviously, about her positioning with uh, Thrall going for her. I failed to protect her. Uh, it was Thrall and Falstad going after, after, uh, after all. And then, uh, but yeah, it worked out. Uh, the right way to play the map. I had some flaky moments myself with, you know, kind of my positioning. Um, there is this theory among certain players that as long as you keep more than people busy, like you keep more people than you are, like you are one. And if you keep two people busy or three as a warrior, that you are undoubtedly doing the right thing. For instance, let's say if I'm Muradin and I keep Falstad, Malf and Sonya busy for 12 seconds, I could be led to believe that I've done the most I can possibly do in the team fight. But in, in the meantime, Anubarak and Thrall could be shrekingly main faster. They are lacking their warrior, which is me. And maybe these two cannot get taken down without the crowd control that I offer. So there were moments where indeed I was on multiple people. And sometimes I've seen warrior players in Hero League, usually toxic players, be like, I kept three of them busy. How the hell did you die to Greymane Abathur copy? Like, how did you die to double Greymane? I was 1v3. You were 4 versus 2. Noobs. But actually, that just goes to show that... that Team fights are deeper than counting numbers on each side. And what I really needed to do was provide maximum disruption to protect my backline. My damage was okay, but it's very sustained damage over time, not very bursty. So, and also, let's just say for the moment that I'm kiting backwards with my team and protecting them all the time, all the way. Maybe their mal for their foul stat is not even getting damage on anyone at all because they're struggling to keep up with the ever moving battle line of the team fight so even though i'm like faustat was hitting me the whole fight and so was Malf. why did you guys lose i had 1v2 maybe they wouldn't be hitting anyone because that's what kiting backwards means you attack the opponent you step back attack step back and in doing so if we moved back as a unity and i should have done better like I should have done a better job of that. If you move back as a unity, you can effectively make one, two or three of their enemy heroes completely ineffective because you're forming this tight nucleus of, of players that are attacking whoever dived the deepest. It could be Anubara, it could be Thrall, it could be Sonya, could even be Falstad. But they might be zoned out. So a five versus two is a lot better than a one v four and a, or a one v three and a, a two Yesterday versus four. Yesterday you did one of the smartest moves I have seen so far from a streamer. You really did corpse CS day. He lost two games. Then chat took action and we told him what we learned from you. With that he won five times in a row. So nice. So nice. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Thank you. And uh, cool. So, but yeah, it was difficult and chaotic for me because Faustad often did a gust and I chose to use my Dwarf Toss to jump over the Mighty Gust and then go for him, but then he would power roll away. And at that moment, I was unable to reposition myself again. So while Dwarf Tossing over Gust is okay, if I didn't Dwarf Toss over the Gust, at the very least, I'm together with my team. Sure, slowed and in a corner and, and bunched up, but I'm with my team. Maybe I should have just let it mighty gust me with the team instead of smartly jumping over it, showing that I can counter this ability with one of my own.
So yeah, I, I don't think I performed well with my positioning, but I did get some pretty nice storm bots on the Malfurion when we were uh, chasing them. Li Ming with the amazing damages, and uh, Abathur with the split soak, zero deaths, loads of XP. So in the end it worked out. Now my build here was double, uh, double W into the battle momentum version of Muradin, and then Burning Rage and Stone Form, but it has been pointed out that there's this new build on the horizon, which is called Healing Static at 13. It means your Thunderclap will do 5% max HP heal for every Thunderclap enemy hero that you hit. It gets doubled up with Thunderburn. That will be another healing that you get. As well as uh, this one resetting it and getting more heals even. But that is a pretty cool one. And then you go give him the axe where you do bonus damage 60% on your auto attacks. Which will hit make you hit for 300 damage every hit when there's an uh, executioner proc. And, you know, Merlin has loads of CC, so you pretty much got proc all the time. So you kind of swap the damage of 13-16 with the sustain. Uh, you don't get stone form, which you can only use once every minute, but instead you get the healing static, which is much more sustained healing. And I agree, I think it's the better one. The only thing that Burning Rage does, which given the axe doesn't do as much, is uh, clearing creep. I even want to say that while Burning Rage has... Uh, a function to clear minion way give him the axe does it as well a single thunderclap auto attack one minion every time and it's gone Earthquake wrecked Sonya, man. Jeez. Oh. A Tempest Fury Giant Killer wrecked Johanna. 